kind of greetings. Uh, welcome. Let's come in. Let's share the broadcast as we are coming in. Make sure you are sharing the broadcast. This is our Sunday service. Welcome to our Sunday service. Uh, God bless you, Apostle, and everyone watching from Kenya. Bessie, God bless you from Kenya. Kenya is in the house. Yeah, let me know where you're watching um, watching us from as you are coming in. Um, this is our Sunday service. We are talking about signs that you are called into the prophetic. Uh, do me Lord, God bless you, men of God. Let me know where you're watching me from. Share the broadcast. Let somebody know. Let somebody know that we are live. As you can see, I'm not alone today. I'm with my son, uh, Prophet Neil. So I want you to share the broadcast. Let somebody know that we are, we are live. Something is about sometimes something is about to go down. So make sure that you are sharing the broadcast as well, inviting somebody. Um, good afternoon, Dad, and all the saints. Uh, Maria Pumzile. God bless you, Pumzile. Uh, welcome, daughter. And share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Invite somebody. Um, Janet, God bless you. Greetings from Cameroon. Cameroon is in the house. God bless you from Cameroon. Uh, watching from Bumalanga, South Africa. Pumzile, blessings. Um, Bumalanga, South Africa is in the building. Ellen, God bless you. Watching from Johannesburg. Um, God bless you and welcome. Um, yeah, share the broadcast. Let's share the broadcast. We are talking about signs that you are called into the prophetic. Maybe you have had questions. Maybe you have asked yourself a question. Am I called into the prophetic? Am I a prophet? How do I know if I'm called into the prophetic? How do I know if I'm a prophet? We're going to be answering these questions. We're going to be answering these questions. I'm going to be giving you very powerful um, teaching to know if you are called into the prophetic. Um, watching from Johannesburg, um, God bless you, Ellen, I saw that. Um, Sana, the greetings apostle and everyone, Cape Town. Cape Town is in the house, God bless you from Cape Town, Sana, um, watching from USA, Samuel. And God bless you, thank you for joining us, USA is in the house. Uh, good afternoon, apostle, Bogani, blacksmith of God, blessings to everyone, Brian Titus, God bless you, men of God. Uh, blessed afternoon, dear dear Neil, um, Becca. God bless you. Let's share the let's share the broadcast. Let's share the broadcast. I want you to share the broadcast. I want you to share the broadcast. We are getting started. Just want you to invite somebody. Let somebody know that we are we are on. Uh, Sammy, God bless you. Watching from Italy. God bless you, Sammy, from Italy. Thank you for joining us. So share the broadcast. Invite somebody. Invite somebody. Invite somebody. If you're if um watching from Northern Cape, leave it on. Share. Thank you, Brian. God bless you, men of God. Um, Northern Cape is in the house. Blessings. Yeah, take somebody. Take somebody that you think they need to hear this. To share the broadcast we are but we are starting we are talking about signs that you are called into the prophetic that maybe you have been asking yourself am i called into the prophetic if you have been asking yourself am i called into the prophetic you 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 make sure you you're part of this because some of most of those questions they're going to be answered here um uh, bless you nail I see everyone is referring to is everyone is saying nail. I think there's a prophet there that is that is missing. There has to be prophet oh. nail. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible says, "Give honor to whom honor is due." Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm not alone. I'm with my son, I'm um, Captain Park Johannesburg um, Neil. So I'm, I'm just going to give him a chance to greet you. I'm sure oh, most of you know him. He's he's always on our session. He's one of my sons in the faith. So he's going to be, um, I want him to greet you and then we are just going to get into it. Um, uh, I see Lebo Hang, Blacksmith, um, God bless you, uh, son. Welcome, watching from Kwaha A, my hometown in Bumalanga. Thank you, son. Bless you. It's good to see you here. Um, 
Good afternoon, Apostle, and everyone watching from Cape Town. Um, woman of God, Elise, God bless you from Cape Town. So, yes, I greet the saints. Greetings and blessings from Kempton Park, Johannesburg. As you can see, I'm blessed to be with the blacksmith is in town today. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so, uh, we are looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Bless Amen. You, Amen. Amen. Yeah, so Amen. we um, I'm going to be doing a teaching, and those of you that if you're trusting God for healing, um, 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 when I'm when I when I'm done, I'm gonna be asking Son to pray for you. He has a he has a, he's a, he's a phenomenal um healing ministry and gift upon his life. So if you are you have been struggling with a sickness, an infirmity, a disease, and you're trusting God for healing, when I am done, I'm um, doing the teaching on signs that you are called into the prophetic. I'm going to be giving him a chance to pray with you. So make sure if you are sick, make sure you are here to the end of the session so that you get a chance to be prayed for so yeah god bless you um may uh, uh molly god bless you greetings watching from limbombo <clears throat> god bless you uh limbombo is in the house good afternoon apostle sir and um everything to everyone god bless you fundi welcome daughter cape town is in the house um nati greetings um servants of god god bless you nati good to see you let's share the broadcast uh, Becca is saying, Neil must prophesy too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I will. Amen. <laughs> so yeah, so so I want I want you to share the broadcast. I see people are sharing um the broadcast. I want you to share share with as many groups as you can. We are currently on eighteen shares, and we there are there are thirty people here. So make sure that you are uh, you don't make the mistake of not sharing the broadcast. Okay, share the broadcast with as many people as you can. We are going to be having a great time. We're going to be having a great time. Uh, blessings everyone watching from USA. Zodwa. God bless you from um, USA. USA is in the house. Welcome. So make sure that you are sharing the broadcast. Make sure that you are sharing the broadcast. If you know someone who really needs to tap into this, um, who really needs to hear this, they're struggling with the prophetic, you know, make sure that you, uh, you, you, you let them know. The black smith is live um, with uh, Prophet Neil. Uh, so something's going to be happening, happening. You, They need to make sure that they tune in. Uh, men of God, um, Mozambique, Maputo, Shalom, Apostle, and your guest. Uh, God bless you. Men of God, Sevo Emmanuel. Uh, daddy, blessed afternoon to you and my brother, Neil. Uh, God bless you, um, Gabriel, black smith. Uh, blessings, blessings. Yeah, make sure that, make sure, yes, uh, people are sharing we are on 25 shares it's very important that you share this is how we this is how we increase our reach this is how we are able to touch more people this is why this is how we are able to help more uh believers so make sure that don't become selfish with these sessions okay um don't become selfish with these sessions allow someone through you to be touched allow someone through you to be reached allow someone through you to be helped and, and and one of the ways that you can do that it's simply just share you go to that uh, share button you click it as many times as you can and then on 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 many groups as um you possibly can so god bless everybody as you are coming in i welcome those who are coming in now let me know where you're watching us from let me know where you're watching us from we we, we love knowing where you're watching from um Mpumelelo, god bless you uh, greetings to you too. Blomfontein is in the house. God bless you. Kais, a high apostle and prophet. Watching from Cape Town. God bless you. Um, Kais, and yeah, God bless you. God bless Amen. you. Um, Claudia, God, God bless you, woman of God. Welcome, uh, welcome and <clears throat> God bless you. My brother Ruben from India. God bless you and welcome. Let me know where you're watching from. Share the broadcast. We are on 48. People are sharing the broadcast. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. We need we 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 we, we need to increase our reach. Let's 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 be a blessing to someone. Um, Claudia says I'm watching from Jamaica. God bless you. Wound of God from Jamaica. Jamaica is in the house. Um, Gabriel, I'm watching from Kitwe, Zambia. Zambia is in the house. God bless you from Zambia. Okay, great. I want us to to just get started now okay i want us to get started <clears throat> so um let's go to the book of numbers chapter 12 that's where we are going to be getting our scripture text um today uh signs that you are called into the prophetic we are starting now 
so I'm going to be exiting um, so I'm not gonna be able to be seeing your comments but uh, son will be reading your comments um, that's where we are reading there are signs when you are called into the prophetic there will be signs in your life that you are called into the prophetic so knowing those signs will help you to um, respond quickly to respond timely it's going to help you to also you know get preparation get training <clears throat> so that you can begin to um to step out and begin to uh, obey god because one of the things that you must remember you know oftentimes in life even as the people of god as kingdom um, citizens we become so preoccupied with our careers we become so preoccupied with uh, making money. We become so preoccupied with raising our, 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 uh, our kids or, or all those kind of stuff. But one of the things that we forget is that none of these earthly things that we so give ourselves to them, uh, we're going to be able to take with us to the afterlife. And oftentimes, some of the things that, <clears throat> like for example, if you someone is just, your obsession is just to make money, uh, that that has no eternal re relevance not unless <clears throat> you are using that money to advance the purpose of god so I'm, what i'm trying to say is this fulfilling your divine assignment is more important than many other things that in life we make so important because when you fulfill your divine assignment when you fulfill your purpose you are fulfilling the reason why you were born in the first place the reason why god brought you on earth in the first place so if you are called into the prophetic, that is your divine assignment. That means that's the purpose why God brought you into the earth. And you being able to serve that purpose, you being able to execute that assignment, you being able to fulfill that purpose, you know, you, you, your work on earth, your labor on earth, it, it will have um, eternal relevance. In other words, you, you are going to be benefited even after this this time even after this world or after this life you there's gonna you are going to derive some kind of eternal benefit from it and that being said it means it's very important that you become passionate especially as a child of god you become passionate about finding out what is it that god has called you to do especially if you are called into the prophetic you have to pay attention because let me tell you something before we get into this science you can have a calling and not know that you have a calling and you can have a calling and never and die and never fulfill that calling without without you fulfilling that calling so understanding signs you know that would actually um, um, indicate will become an, an indication that you are called into the prophetic can really help you to especially if you are doubting you know you want confirmation you want to be sure if for real has God called me into the prophetic you understand? It's so it's so very important. So let's get into let's get into then sign number. Okay, let's read the verse and then I'm gonna give you the first sign that you are called into the prophetic. <clears throat> we are reading the book of Numbers, um, chapter twelve, verse six, seven, and eight. We're just reading three verses. Um, verse six, and the Lord said to them, "Now listen to what I say. If there were prophets among you, I, the Lord, will reveal myself in visions." That's number one. Number two, I would speak to them in dreams. Amen. <laughs> right. Sign number one. <laughs> so sign number one that you are called into the prophetic or sign number one that you might be called as a prophet, you might be called into the prophetic is when you are prone to dreams and visions. Right? It's when you... Your, your life is just full of dreams. Your life is just full of visions. This is the first sign. If you are someone who is just big on dreaming, if you are someone who is just big on seeing visions, we, 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 we will talk about dreams and visions in the days to come. If you are someone, you have, you have these two um, prophetic expressions in your life. You are someone who has dreams. You are someone who is pruned to visions. That could be the sign that God is calling you to the prophetic. That could be a sign that God has called you as a prophet or as prophetess. You get it? So I want you to understand, and this is this is one of the major this is one of the major signs. 
this is one this is one of the big like signs that God normally uses when he summons because one of the things that we have to constantly go back to in when 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 we talk about prophets you need to remember uh, you need to remember prophets are born you need to remember prophets are born <laughs> right and as prophets are born and then of course uh, a, a, a person remember what makes a prophet a prophet it is the spirit of the prophet so meaning a prophet is born with the spirit of a prophet i i think it, this is powerful that i'm talking about a prophet and a, and a prophet is sitting next to me you see a prophet <laughs> you see a prophet is born a prophet a prophet is born with the spirit of a prophet but when they are called, when they are activated to begin to operate in that in 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 in, in that in that calling in that grace is a different story. Okay, so in other words, a prophet can be born and not know that he's a prophet. Maybe he's not yet called, but he's born a prophet. Maybe he's not yet activated. Maybe he's not yet unlocked, but he is born a prophet. <laughs> and then there comes a time when the prophet has to be called now. There comes a time when the prophet has to be activated. But the difference is that there are those prophets who uh, they will be born and and they will already they will be born active. You know, there are those people who are born even before they were born again, they could they could see they could see. Even before they were born again, they would say things jokingly and they'll come to pass. Yeah, no, I've seen those people. You understand? Yeah. So it's because it's because they they are born as prophets, but already they are operational. Right? But there are those who are born and they are not operational. But they are prophets. <laughs> so and, and this is why we have to we we have to you, you need to understand this that you could be a prophet, but you just don't know you're a prophet. Right? This is why we talk about signs that one is called into the prophetic. Now let me let me tell let's call let's let's talk about calling now. Let's talk about calling. But the first principle is that all prophets are born prophets. Right, and also I want you to understand the other thing that I want. I want uh, you know the church needs to understand is that uh, is that because you know when you say all people are born prophets, a lot of people um, because some people think you have, well, like some people think you become a prophet the moment you are called to become a prophet. Yes, but you don't become a prophet when you are called to become a prophet. You are called to become a prophet because you were born to be a prophet, or you were born a prophet. <laughs> right so, like for example here's what we need to understand our god he knows all things and he's a god of purpose so god doesn't create anything without a purpose yes god doesn't do anything without a purpose amen right so in other words god in other words god will not bring someone on earth and then god will be like okay let's decide what are we going to do with this one <laughs> yes the moment you come into the universe the moment, the moment you come into the earth god has already decided this one is a prophet so you are born a prophet. But the issue of when are you called as a prophet is a different story. <laughs> right? It's, 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 it's an entire different story. So this is when we need to talk about then. When is the prophet called now? Or how is the prophet called? Because that's the issue. The issue is most prophets, their activation and their operation is dependent on when the Lord decides to call them. Yes. You get it? Let's talk about Amos. Amos says, um, I was not a prophet. He says, neither was I a son of a prophet. Right? When the word of the Lord came to me, when I was when I was when I, when I, when I was a shepherd and said, Go and prophesy to my people of Israel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Right? So the fact that is is listen to this, he says, I was not a prophet. Because you can take that statement. He says, I was not a prophet, I was not a son of a prophet. But if, if Amos is here with us now, we will ask Amos, how did you know that you were not a prophet? The fact that you were not prophesying, the fact that you were not seeing visions, the fact that you were a shepherd, did it, did it mean that you were not a prophet? Exactly. <laughs> how about Elisha, who was a farmer, before he was called into the, into the prophetic? Mm. So it's not like God just saw a need and then he decided, let me call Amos. God already, when Amos was born, God had already decided this one is a prophet. Just as when Elisha was born, God had already decided this one is a prophet. Amen. So, a lot of people think when you are called, that's when you become. Yes, I know. <laughs> you get it? Mm -hmm. Like, let's think, let's, let's, let's think about it. 
let's, let's talk about, let's think about the seed, a seed of a tree. A seed of a tree, it's potentially a tree. Or you can go as far as the tree is inside of that seed. You can go as far as it. Right? So, but it needs proper environment for activation. <laughs> Come on. So, the moment you take a seed and put it into the ground, you are activating the seed. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. And, and, and as the seed is activated it will begin to it will germinate it will die germinate and then it would sprout so something can become because the prophet, the spirit of the prophet we can call it the seed of the prophet right Amen. and then there comes a time when the call of God comes upon that prophet when and, and remember this is so powerful this is like this it, this is a metaphor because remember just as a seed needs to die in order for it to sprout and grow when God calls you as a prophet, you have to die to yourself. Amen. <laughs> you, can, you, cannot, you, cannot begin to, you cannot begin to move with God as a prophet if you don't allow yourself to die. 100%. So in other words, and the key point I'm trying to make here is that you don't become a prophet the day God calls you. Mm -hmm. Right? If, if, God, if God ever calls you as a prophet, it means you were born a prophet. <laughs> in other words, <laughs> in other words, if if ever a seed ever it dies, it germinates, it becomes a tree. It means that that seed it was of a tree, right? You cannot take a seed of a flower and then you plant it and then suddenly mysteriously it becomes a tree. Exactly, <laughs> right? So in other yeah. words, if someone is not born to become a prophet, if someone is not born as a prophet. God will not call them as a prophet in the future. If, he, if, if God ever calls anyone as a prophet, it's because they were born that. I mean, this is the first thing that we have to establish. I don't know if you guys are listening to, what, <laughs> to the things that, are, that, 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 are, that, that, that we are trying to bring to you. So, now, if we start from that premises that all prophets are born. <laughs> all prophets are born. So, and if all prophets are born now, this is what I want you to understand. You can be a prophet and not know that you are a prophet. Or not see the potential. Or not be able to move in that dimension. Like check, check for example. If you take, let's go back to the example of a seed. If you take a seed and you put it inside the house, you don't go and plant it outside. Is it going to grow? Mm -hmm. You can even doubt that this is a seed. Yes. This thing, I'm not sure is a seed anymore. <laughs> exactly. yeah. I've been having it here in this house for like forever, you know. But it doesn't grow. It doesn't do anything. It's, a, it's not that the seed has, is not a seed, but it's because the environment is not conducive. It's not a proper environment for that seed to, to die, germinate, and, and start and start sprouting. Exactly. Yeah. So the same thing. Yeah. One can be a prophet. But they might fail to move in prophetic dimensions. They might fail to tap into prophetic realms. They can even get to a place where they doubt, am I really a prophet? If I'm a prophet, mm -hmm. why can't I do one, two, three, four, five, six? But what they will fail to see that the environment is every day. Also, one of the reasons I think that um, the Lord doesn't reveal to people before their time. I love that. Is because they will be discouraged. Exactly. Because they're not going to be operating. <laughs> you understand? So it's a discouragement as well as the, your, your warfare is going to begin much earlier. Exactly. You're going to have a whole lot of unnecessary work. Exactly. So, so it's all about the timing. Timing but, is everything. Timing, timing is everything. So that's, a, that's, a, that's all something very powerful because there are a lot of people who would know before their time that they are prophets, but then they will become very frustrated. Mm. And we, okay, I'm a prophet. I remember there was a prophet back home um, in Bumalang who said to me one day, we were sitting in a church. He says to me, hey, Apostle, tell me. What kind of a prophet am I who can't see? <laughs> he says, what kind of a prophet? I don't see anything. Exactly. I don't hear anything. <laughs> you understand? So, but the issue now of not seeing and not being able to move in prophetic uh, dimensions, could, you, could, you could be affected by, by a few things. Like, mm. first, that one, it could be maybe it's not your time. Yes. Right? But secondly, it could be because you lack proper environment. Oh, yes. Right? Mm. Because remember... The, a seed is not going a seed is not going to grow if you don't plant it it's not going to grow so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you have a gift in the prophetic it doesn't matter you are called into the prophetic if you don't get the right environment 
if you don't get the right environment, you don't get because your right environment speaks of a lot of things. Because because if we are talking about the literal seed, of course, the right environment it, it will be okay. Take it to the ground, right? And then you begin to be, to break the fallow ground and you plant, you sow it, and then you bury it, and then you give it time to just sprout and, and grow. But what about if you are a prophet or you have prophetic giftings? And you want it, you want them to, to, to die germinate, you want them to actually you want to actually move in, in those in those prophetic gift giftings. So the right environment, if you are called as a prophet or you you have prophetic gifts, it will be one it's going to be your teachers who's teaching you. Your teachers because because remember, uh, Jesus says a, a, a student cannot be greater than his master. Right? Yeah. And then also the other thing that you must remember is you cannot take yourself where you have never been. Hundred percent, yeah. <laughs> right, it, it's very important that issue. It's it's very very important. I mean, think about Elisha. Can you imagine Elisha? He was um he was um, he didn't have Elijah. He was a farmer. So this is a guy. This is a prophet in a wrong environment. So can you imagine a prophet becoming a farmer simply because he does not have the right environment? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine you have a, you, have, you you carry so much grace that you can anoint kings, you can you can prophesy kingdoms into power, you can you can prophesy kingdoms into falling, but you are restricted by your environment and you end up becoming a farmer. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> when when the purpose of God for your life is for you to become a prophet, but you end up becoming a farmer because you lack the right environment. And, and also, so number one, the environment, it will be your leaders. Who are your leaders, right? But, 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 but secondly, your environment will speak of your, um, your community, right? It will speak of your community. Because think about it. If you are called as a prophet, but let's say spiritual kingdom, your kingdom community, you belong to a, an evangelical um, kingdom community that has no interest in the prophetic you are not going to grow again. I definitely. Yes. <laughs> they are going to be busy telling you, "Let's go and win souls." <laughs> <laughs> Why are you supposed to be on the wall as a watchman? When are you supposed to be on your knees and as an intercessor? They will be busy telling you, "Let's go and win souls." How many souls did you win last night? <laughs> how many souls uh, this year? How many souls did you bring to Christ? They will be busy because this, the evangelical community they have a burden for souls. Yeah. To be on the wall as a watchman, you're supposed to be on your knees as an intercessor. So, the only leaders and the kingdom community that, that, that you belong to they are your environment. If you can a prophetic seed, your, your leaders who, who, who is mentoring you, who is fathering you, and the kingdom community that you belong to, they become they become it, they become key, they become your environment, they determine your environment. You get it? Like for example, I know a lot. I've seen a lot of people. I met people that are so prophetic. They are so prophetic. But I will notice that they are not moving the prophetic. And the reason why they are not moving in the prophetic, you find that is because they're lacking mentors. Okay. Prophetic mentors, right? You, you, and then you will also find that the person belongs in a kingdom community that has has nothing to do with the prophetic. In other words, they don't teach how to. They, they they don't teach the voice of God. They don't teach all these things, concepts that are building blocks that are important for anyone to grow in the prophetic. And also, there is no impartation because remember, impartation is another is another key, and is is something that is also misunderstood in the body of Christ. Like for example, let let's, let let me touch on a little bit on the issue of impartation. Okay. It, okay, because here's what people are missing about impartation. The power of impartation is this. The is that impartation is able to ignite your gift. You get it? Yes. In other words, mm -hmm. this is where imp impartation becomes powerful. He is someone who is called their prophetic giftings. They are a prophet, right? But they are not, they are not operational, right? They have giftings, they have a grace that is dormant, but that is not operating. And then they get impartation. When they get impartation, here's the secret of impartation. Impartation sets into fire the giftings and the graces that are already in them. So, in other words, impartation does not give you something that you don't have. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Because, I mean, okay, it's possible for impartation to give you something that you don't have. Right? But here's the problem with that. It's not going to stay with you because it's not yours. 
It's just a power surge. Yes. It's a surge for some time, yeah. You, you understand what I'm talking about? So, so in other words, you have a superficial, you have a su superficial boost. But you have, you, you're trans, you have not, you, you, in other words, there's no transformation. It's just a superficial boost. So this is why a lot of people need to understand that uh, impartation also comes into play now when we talk about your environment. Are you going to be able to germinate? Are you going to be able to grow? Two things that are going to determine that. This is why impartation will fall under leaders. Because if you have leaders in the prophetic, those who are teaching you and training you into the prophetic, when the time is proper, because also the issue of timing, we go back to the issue of timing that you brought up. Timing as to when one gets imparted also is very key. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Because imagine if you take a five-year-old and you and you give that you give that a five-year-old a gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We might begin to see a lot of crazy things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some might get hurt. Some of our people might get hurt because a five-year-old has been entrusted with a gun, right? Yes. So in other words, uh, as one leader in the prophetic, those leaders need to, to know your your leader. Is, if you have a father in the prophetic, mm -hmm. you have a mentor in the prophetic. Your father must be able to know your level of development. And majority as well. And majority. Yes. Your, your father must be able to know where you are because he must be actively engaging you and building you and preparing you for what he is going to place upon your life. Amen. This is the same thing that, I mean, this is a classic example that we see with um, Elisha and Elijah. Right? Because there's what we call, for example, uh, there is what we call um, the first anointing. First anointing is when Elijah meets, meets Elisha. He takes his mantle, he throws it upon El El Elisha. Right? The same mantle that he, he gives, the same mantle that he leaves for Elisha at the latter, at the latter stage, it, it was not the first time Elisha was given that mantle. When the prophet invited him, first of all, the Bible says he took his mantle and he placed it upon him. Yes. <laughs> right? Now, can you imagine at that time if Elisha could have said, I'm imparted, it means I'm fine now. <laughs> yes, yes. The mantle has been cast upon me. I have received the invitation. I am fine. But Elisha had an understanding that this is not an in, in, in invitation as in, as in I'm being activated to go and now operate and be on my own. This is an invitation for me to come to be built, for me to come to be prepared for the time when the mantle can be officially released as mine. This is why he says to the prophet, allow me to go and bid my parents farewell. And then I'll come back and follow you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is <laughs> this is where also a lot of sons are missing it, is that they would receive the first anointing and they would think that I am fine now, I have been imparted, and they will be surprised. How come that this thing is not working? But I've been imparted. It's because they think the first anointing is the official impartation to say now hmm. you are ready. <laughs> it's like the contents of the user menu. <laughs> you understand? It's just the contents <laughs> So, so this is why uh, this is why having a mentors and having a father in the prophetic is so important. Is that and it's not this thing of people having just having fathers, but there is no actual grooming that is going on. There is no actual teaching that's going on. There is no actual training that is going on. But you you actually have to have you actually have to have uh, the training, the teaching has to be there. All these things that goes into 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 developing you as a son or as a daughter, they have to be there. And then when the time is right, then the, the, the impartation, official impartation that releases you, that gives you latitude, that gives you authority, that, that gives you jurisdiction is now released upon your life. And then you are on your own. You can begin to operate as a prophet. But the problem is this. Um, a lot of people, their environment, they don't have the right environment. You find that they don't have leaders. They don't have leaders in the prophetic. And number two, they belong to communities that attack the prophetic. Or even if the communities they belong in, they don't attack the prophetic. They don't love the prophetic. They, they are not prophetic. They don't carry the prophetic grace. And then you find that even if now you are called as a prophet, you are not going to operate. Your gift is not going to show forth. You are not going, you are not going to be ignited. <laughs> right? So the, the, here's what people need to understand. I'm, I'm telling you, if you don't understand this, you, are, you can be a prophet and not move in the prophetic. You can be called into the prophetic and not move, never move in the prophetic. You can become like a seed that is placed somewhere on the shelf in the house. Maybe put into paper plastic, plastic bag somewhere. These are just seeds. 
you know, they just put somewhere in there. Those seeds are not going to grow until they find the right environment. So the same thing, you are going to need a proper environment, even if you are called into the prophetic. Because the main point here I'm trying to make is this. You can be called as a prophet or a prophetess or into the prophetic, but never move in the prophetic. This is why we are talking about signs, things that can serve as signs that you might be called into the prophetic. And I said sign number one, you are prone to dreams and visions. Right. In other words, you, <clears throat> you because there are people, <laughs> there are people even if um, they dream because uh, it is my conviction that everyone dreams, even those yes. who forget their dreams. Right. But here's the thing. There's a difference with people who dream because it's 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 something that every human can do. They occasionally have dreams and someone who that is the default way on or of how on how God speaks to them. Because here's the thing, if one is a prophet, because one of the key things when it comes to dreams and visions, if you are a prophet, you are not just a, a person who dreams once in a while, right? If you are a prophet, that's a communication mode for you. It's every night. Yeah. It's, it's an everyday day, mm. <laughs> right? And that now becomes a sign that I might be called into, in, in, into the prophetic. I might be called in, as a prophet. Why do why do um, God's communication why that why do they come to me as in, in in form of dreams and visions? It's a first sign, and it's interesting that actually God, when He spoke to Miriam and Aaron, the verse that we read, God said, uh, God said to them, if there's a pro if there are prophets among you, I will reveal myself to them in visions, and I will speak to them in the dream. Mm -hmm. So in other words, when God calls and summons and activates the prophets he begins to he begins to call them in the dream amen amen <laughs> that's how god awakens the spirit of a prophet that's how god makes a prophet to be aware that i'm called as a prophet he begins to summon them and you understand so one dreams is one of the ways that god begins to induct them like to awaken them, to 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 summon them, like to make them aware that there's a there's something prophetic about me. Why do why do God's communication come to me in dreams? Why do God's communications come to me through visions? It's a sign that okay, I'm either called into the prophetic or I'm called as a as, as a prophet. And in other words, and, and 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 I'm calling them as a sign because. Even after you have these things, you will still need to investigate further. Because you cannot just dream and say, I'm a prophet because you're dreaming. Exactly. Right? You cannot see a vision and say, I'm a prophet simply because you saw a vision. Mm -hmm. You get it? Because, I mean, there are people, even in the Bible, if you read the Bible, there are people in the Bible who saw vi visions uh, and, and dreamt, but they were, not, they were not prophets. Like, for example, in the Bible, there were people who were called dream, um, uh, um, uh, dreamers of dreams. Of dreams yeah. They were not called prophets, those people. They were called dreamers of dreams because all, all prophets are dreamers, but not all dreamers are prophets. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> right? So, but the alone being, being pruned to dreams is a sign that you might be called into the prophetic. In other words, if you are someone who, if you're watching us right now, you are someone you are dreaming a lot. In other words, you, it, it, that's a reason for you to make further investigation. Can it be that God is calling me as a prophet? Can it be that God is calling me as a prophetess? Can it be that God is calling me as a prophetic minister to move into the prophetic dimension? Also, also visions. The vision, I'm going to say the same thing uh, with, with visions. Um, all prophets, they see dreams, but uh, they, all prophets can see dreams, but not all seers of visions are prophets. You get it? So it's a sign. Okay, let's go on. I want to finish... Um, in five minutes, maybe I'm just going to give you three signs and then maybe we will do part two. I don't know. And then we will talk about um, and then we will begin to talk about uh, we will continue. I will give you a lot more um, um, signs. OK, the second. The, so, so this is the first sign. You are prone to dreams and visions. When you are prone to dreams and vision is a sign that you God might be calling you as a, into the prophetic office. God might be calling you into the prophetic dimension. OK, the second and the second sign that you are called into the prophetic, you are sensitive. You are sensitive to worship. You are sensitive to worship. Prophets love music. Prophets are musicians. 
<laughs> prophets and musicians. This is why if you check, if you check in the Bible, you cannot separate, you will not be able to separate music uh, from the prophetic institution. Prophets have a weakness for music. <laughs> prophets, they have a, you, you know, if, if you have been around prophets, you'll notice prophets are creatures of music. Prophets love worship. You, you are, you are, in other words, prophets, when you are a prophet, you are a worshiper. <laughs> when you are a prophet, you are a worshiper. <laughs> so, to tell the truth, our praise and worship team is supposed to be composed of prophets. We are not just supposed to put everyone there who can hold a note. <laughs> you know, if, if you know, because these days, if someone can hold a musical note, we just put them in the praise and worship yes. team. Oh, you can sing, go there. <laughs> you know, yeah. so so prophets are worshippers. They're deep worshippers, and here's here's the secret thing about um, here's the secret thing about our uh, prophets. Uh, who are worshippers, they know how to bring the presence of God upon the room, into the room. They know how to usher other people into the manifest presence of God. Amen. Amen. You see, if a worshipper cannot usher the, the congregation into the manifested presence of God, maybe that person is not supposed to be there. <laughs> because it takes a prophetic anointing to worship. Okay. This is why, if you remember what the angel said to John, the, 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 the angel said to, to John, worship the Lord. He says, for the testimony of Jesus, the spirit of, he says, the spirit of, 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 of prophecy, he says, worship the Lord, the spirit of prophecy is the testimony is, 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 of, of Jesus. Yes. <laughs> so in other words, the, the, in other words, the prophetic is so connected to worship and worship is so connected to the presence. So this is why I'm, I'm telling you, there are certain people when, there, there are certain, <laughs> there are certain people when they stand on the pulpit, this present worship team, they begin to sing, they fill the temple with noise. But when prophets worship, and they begin to release their voice, they fill the temple with the cloud, with the Lord. It's a connection. It's, it's a connection. Mm -hmm. the, the manifest, the, the manifest presence of God begins to come into the room when a prophet worships. So that's one of the signs. If you, I, 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 there are so many people who are prophetic, but they don't know. Like not everyone. You no, know, I've been in so many um, meetings over this past uh, plus ten years. Services, prophetic services, more than I care to remember. Uh, more than I care to remember. But I've noticed something. There are certain people that when you give them the mic, even if they are speaking, just testify. The 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 manifest presence that the, the will begin to be felt around the building. There are certain people that you give them the mic. The moment they begin to sing, the cloud just comes in. That person has a strong prophetic anointing. But there are certain people, they come, they, maybe they come to give a testimony. Maybe they come to just, or maybe sing, I just want to sing a song. Their voice might be nice. They, it might be golden. We are sitting there listening to the nice voice. But nothing comes into the building. They, they can't provoke, they can't provoke the atmosphere. It is so this is one of the this is one of the signs that someone might become. You have to notice those kind of people. You have to notice those kind of people in, in if you are a minister, if you have a mini, you are a minister, or you just a church a church member. There are certain people. The moment they stand on, it's like these people is like they carry a presence. Exactly. Yeah. Like there are certain people when they walk into the room, like mm. oh come on, the atmosphere become electrified. <laughs> That's it, yeah. You know, like they usher in a certain atmosphere. That's prophetic. <laughs> On its own, yeah. You understand? Mm. And not everyone, here's what we are overlooking. Here's what we are overlooking. Not everyone has it. Not everyone is able to walk into the pulpit and or walk into a building and the atmosphere changes. <laughs> right? And, and and people who carry such in other words, prophets they are they are heavy carriers of the presence of God. <laughs> Amen. You, you get it? Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, an evangelist can have it. Um, a teacher can have it. A pastor can have it. Right? But here's the thing. They will have to cultivate it through prayer. They will have to cultivate it through intense prayer. Right? They have. But a prophet, his regular prayer that he uses to maintain his fellowship with the Lord, that alone begins to create an atmosphere. Because... 
you, you understand this is why this is why like we, there's what we call summits right when we're talking about a summit a summit is a prophet when we're talking about a summit we are talking about someone who prophesies through music oh, okay like david the summit this is why you can read the psalms of david today and still feel blessed why because they were written by a man who was carried who carried a strong prophetic anointing Think about David in his Psalms. He writes things like, The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand. David was so prophetic. Exactly. <laughs> David is the one who wrote the Psalm, You will not let my, my, my flesh to, to see decay. He was prophesying about the resurrection of Jesus. But, but David was simply under the prophetic anointing, was simply just penning down those Psalms. But because he was under such a heavy prophetic mm. anointing, he began to tap into future events. That's the thing about it. Like even certain sounds, you'll see where it switches from him to yes. the Lord. Yes. <laughs> to, from him speaking to the Lord speaking. To the Lord speaking. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> yes, yeah. So it's very important that a lot of people understand that when some psalmists, some they are prophets. You remember Elisha when he was busy and, and the kings came to him to inquire the word of the Lord by him. All right. And then and, and Elisha said, get me a minstrel. Right. What's a minstrel? <laughs> a minstrel is someone who prophesied through musical instruments. So this person is a prophet, but their prophetic anointing is released through musical instruments. You know, sometimes, for example, we don't we take for granted people who are playing musical instruments in, in, our, in our ministries, right? This is why sometimes we argue about whether they need to be paid or not, right? But if a preacher gets paid for preaching, why not the guy who's playing a keyboard or a guitar? Why not? Because they're actually doing the same thing. If a prophet who, after prophesying, gets honored, why not the same person? Uh, provided, them, of course, it, 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 it's a context. Provided the ministry is big enough, is able to take care of the musicians. Why not? Because they are doing exactly the same thing that the prophet is doing, but they're just doing it differently. Right? Think about it. Elisha wants to prophesy, but he is saying, here's the condition. I need the ministry. Hmm. <laughs> How important is that guy? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he, says, he, says, he says, get me a minstrel. <laughs> and the Bible says they got the minstrel or a harvest. And the Bible says when the guy came, and the Bible says as he began to play, the hand of the Lord, come on, the, the hand of the Lord that re releases the burden, the doma, the doma of the Lord began to come upon the prophet and he began to prophesy. Mm. Why? Because the guy is a minstrel. He carries a prophetic anointing that he can release through, through a musical instrument. The guy could take a guitar and release the, the prophetic flow. The guy would take a keyboard and release the prophetic anointing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you, 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 you get this thing. Like, like can you... <laughs> Uh, th this is this. I, I don't know if someone. I don't know if someone is listening to this. That's power. <laughs> I don't know if someone's listening. So he, this is why when someone is a psalmist, is a or when you have psalmist who are singing, you have minstrels that are playing a musical instrument in the church. Those guys they can sing or play and begin to activate prophets that are sitting down in the congregation. Hmm. When someone carries a prophetic anointing, when you hear them sing, you can begin to get up and begin to say things. <laughs> when those guys begin to play wow. their things, you can get up and begin to say things. And yeah. <laughs> because through musical instruments, they begin to release this thing. Wow. <laughs> they begin to release this thing. Mm. <laughs> Oh, come on. It's okay. going on. <laughs> it's going on. <laughs> oh, come on, somebody. I'm telling you, there are so many people who are prophetic. You just don't know you're prophetic. There's so many of you, you are listening to me right now. Some of you, you feel like I'm talking to you alone. You feel like, this is me, that's me. This is me, this is me, this is me. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know? But here's the thing, is because when you think of it, you, you know, some of the things they are hiding in plain sight. You know, you are watching people on television... You are belittling yourself because your, your understanding of the, the prophetic is narrow. <laughs> right? Mm. It's very narrow. I'm telling you, like, let's talk about Kim Walker uh, as an example. A lot of people love Kim Walker, but they don't know why they love her. But the reason why they love people, a lot of people love Kim Walker is because Kim Walker, Kim, Kim Walker she's a prophet. And she, she's, and she has a strong prophetic anointing that yes, when she sings, mm. it provokes the manifested presence. They release a sound. It's, they not re it's, a, it's a sound. Mm. 
and your spirit resonates with her when you hear her singing. When you hear her worshiping, you just connect with immediately there's a connection. Is why because and why can't you do that with every musician? Because by the way, there are people who have more beautiful voices than Kim Walker. There are people who can sing far better than Kim Walker. But you can hear them sing, you can acknowledge this is a nice voice, but that thing is not there. Them the Mary Mata connection. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> when Mary visited Elizabeth. <laughs> Come on. There was a there was, <laughs> there, there was that Mary Mata connection. Yeah. When <laughs> when 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 Mary greeted uh, 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 Elizabeth. Elizabeth, yeah. Yeah. Elizabeth <laughs> said when you when I heard your salutation, mm. my baby jumped. Yeah. It oh, come come leave. On. <laughs> <laughs> my, my baby jump. Why, why, why? Oh, oh, come on. Oh, come on. <sighs> <laughs> this is so heavy. This is this is so heavy. <laughs> this is so heavy. This is so heavy. I don't know if everyone and anyone is anyone is following us yet. Because we, we you, there are signs. You will have signs when God calls you into the prophetic. The signs are not are going to be there. The signs are going to be there. The signs are going to be there. <laughs> right. So the so 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 it, that 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 Mary Elizabeth um connection is very important. <laughs> right. If you are if you <laughs> if you are a prophetic person, you you are able to provoke that thing. Exactly. <laughs> In yeah. other words, when 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 a prophet comes on the on the pulpit. Our babies begins to jump. When a psalmist, the minstrel begins to play, a psalmist begins to sing, our babies begins to jump. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they carry a special anointing that is able to activate us, that is able to provoke, provoke us. Yes. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. And I, you understand? So, so there is a connection between worship and the prophetic. Right? Because the, there's a, the, because the other thing that we must say is that music is not worship. There's a difference, I get, because mm -hmm. we can have music without worship. Yes. Right? And this is, this is, this is, this is actually often um, the condition in our day. We have churches that musically, they're so great. They have great singers. They have great um, um, uh, musicians who can play powerfully. Like you get there, you go there, you listen to how they play, how they sing. Everything is perfect. But that prophetic element is lacking. That, that worship, the spiritual, because worship is, is, is a spiritual thing, yes. right? If it's not there, the music is going to be there, it's going to be powerful, the vocals, vocalists, they're going to be great, but you're going to come in, but then you're not going to be able to sense God in the building. That spiritual element, this is what Jesus meant when he said, God is looking for true worshipers that will worship him in spirit and in truth. So it's, it's not worship if it's not done in spirit and in truth, it's just music. Yes. It can be great music. But for it to just move from, from just becoming mere music to becoming worship, it has to be done in spirit and in truth. Amen, yes. In other words, it needs the prophetic for it to become music, to become worship. So in other words, the prophetic allows, makes music to become worship. Without that spiritual element, this is what Jesus, Jesus said something very powerful. This is, he says, the Father is looking for those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. So in other words, worship is a spiritual thing. It's not just an issue of singing nice. This is why I love telling people that a golden voice is not worship. You can yes. sing very nicely, but if you're not doing it in spirit and in truth, it's not worship. Exactly. You just have a nice voice. You Amen. just have a golden voice. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? But the moment you, you are doing it in spirit, the moment you are, you are doing it in the prophetic, it becomes worship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm doing it. So this is one of the things. Uh, this is one of the things that you guys. Um, um, this is one of the things the things that you need to understand. So the, I, 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 okay, okay. I want to. I want to. I want to finish up. Yeah, I want to finish up. Number one. <laughs> number one. I said to you, uh, the first sign that you're called into the prophetic, you are you are pruned to dreams and visions. Number two, I said, um, you you are a worshiper. You are sensitive to worship. You you. you you, 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 you know, when you are like that, even if a pastor came and preached and they didn't worship, for you it's like something is missing. When you are like that, sometimes you come into the service 
and we worship, we worship, and you feel like this is enough, like we can get you to the prophetic and just allow God to speak and then go home. <laughs> you know, so prophets, they have that like weakness or people who are called into the prophetic, they have, they have that weakness yeah, when it comes to worship. It's a very, very, um, it's a very, very strong, strong thing. Okay, I'm going to give you, I'm giving you uh, the third one, uh, which is going to be the last one for this session, because I still have many, I still have many signs that I can give to you uh, that can help you to detect that maybe God is calling me into the prophetic. Maybe God is calling me um, as a prophet. Uh, number three is um, you have a burden for intercession. You have a burden for intercession. This is, I think this is my favorite one. This is one of the major ones for me. Is, is prophets, they are intercessors. Prophets are praying, praying men and women. You see, so in a, anytime someone says is a prophet, but they don't have that burden to always be in prayer, you need to know something is wrong. So in other words, that, that one is a prophet. That one is a prophet. We don't see them by just wanting to prophesy. Just wanting to be on the pulpit. Mm. Just wanting the spotlight. You, you know, with your yellow uh, blazers and green blazers. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? And then that's, that's, that, that's not a sign of, 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 of a prophet. Like what happens to me a lot is when I see people missing people. Yes. Or kidnap people or something yes. like that. Automatically, I want to I start praying for them. This is what I'm and talking these about. These are people I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm talking about. But I'm praying for them. Even exactly. In, like all any hours, or even of the night, I'm yes. praying for these people. Yes. And then I even wonder these are people I don't even know. So that's when I identify that these are one of the burdens. This is one of yeah. this is exactly this is what I'm talking about. So that's a sign that you, if you are someone with a strong burden, <laughs> if, if 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 you have if you have if you have a strong burden for prayer, if you have a strong burden for intercession. You need to you need to wake up. God might be calling you to 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 the prophetic. God might be calling you as a prophet. You know there are people who need motivation to pray. You know those people you need to like teach them the power of prayer. You need to come to them before they pray. You have to come and say the power of prayer, and you begin to give them all the powerful points about the power of prayer. <laughs> prayer does this. Prayer does this. Prayer does this. And based on that session, they now feel like they want to pray. I'm going yeah. to pray now. Now I'm fired up. Now I'm fired up. I'm <laughs> going to pray. I mean, <laughs> you know, you you are motivated. <laughs> you right. But for a for 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 a prophet, a prophet does not need motivation to pray. It's a burden. It's something that is eating him. It's something that is eating her. It's something that is driving him. Or is driving her. It's something that is pushing you when you are a prophet. No one has to come and say to you, you need to pray, prayer is important, prayer this, prayer that. <laughs> you, you, 100%. You understand what I'm talking about? So once you have that in your life, you have to, it's a sign again. God might be calling you into the, into the prophetic. So there are a lot of people who say, I'm a prophet, but they are not prayer. They are not praying people. Right? They don't spend they don't spend time in prayer. They don't spend time in intercession. Even when they are praying, they pray for themselves. They pray um, selfish prayers. My name is Jimmy. Give me. It's just me, me, me. You know, the prayer just has, has me, 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 me. You understand? So when, once you have this third burden, you have to also pay attention. It is a time that God is calling you into the prophetic. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Those are three signs. They are not all. We are going to make more sessions. Uh, we're going to be making more, and we're going to be making more sessions on uh, how to know, how to know that God is, God is calling you um, into the prophetic, or signs that God is God is calling you into the prophetic. So consider this session to be part one. So consider this session to be part one. So we got, we are going to be doing part two on um 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 signs that you are called um, signs that you are called into the prophetic so yeah right now i'm going to be um i'm going to be allowing son to pray for those who are sick if you are here you are you're watching you are in pain uh, you, you know you have a sickness you have a disease you have an infirmity whatever it is that you trust in god for you trust in god for healing about um I want, I want, I want, I want son to pray, to pray for you. So if you are there, I want you to make sure that by the show of hands, I want you to indicate to us that you need prayer. So if you 
Uh, here, you're trusting God for healing. I want you to, by the show of hands, I want you to commit to your hand and then lift it up and say, uh, 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 I need prayer of healing so that uh, I release and to pray for you because we are done. This is the end of the service. Those of you want to give your offerings, your, um, you know how we do it here at home. So you're just going to do that. Uh, God bless you. So yeah, if you're here trusting God for healing, you can just by the show of hands. I hope you guys have been blessed. This has been powerful. <laughs> this, was, this, was just, this was a just dynamic session. <laughs> even to me, because it, it makes my identity even more. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's a, it's a, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's, there's there being. Okay. Okay, so Debbie, what, what are you, are you struggling with? So one of the things I just want to speak to you about is <clears throat> when Jesus died on the cross, he said that you are already healed. By his stripes, we are already healed. So what is standing in the way of, of our healing today? It can only be ourselves. It, it can only be us that are standing in the way of, of our healing. So I want to give you a verse in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7 and 8 that says, Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. For it will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. So if we are standing in the way of our own healing, let's look at our, our ways, our words, and our thoughts and see if we, are, if, we, if we are not shunning evil in any one of those avenues. And that could actually be the thing that, that is blocking us from our healing. But anyway, right now, Heavenly Father, I thank you for your daughter, baby. I thank you, Lord that by the stripes that fell on the back of Jesus Christ, she is healed. Right now, I send your word in Psalm 107 verse 20 that says, The Lord sent his word to heal Debbie. The Lord sent his word to heal you and to deliver you from any destruction. Right now, I command that every pain be healed in the name of Jesus. I speak to that pelvic pain in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed right now. Come into alignment with the word of God. Be restored to its original perfection which the Lord has created you to be in the name of Jesus. Right now, I subdue that pain. I command it to be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for your daughter Yolanda. I thank you, Lord. I cover her now with the blood of Jesus Christ. I bind that spirit of infirmity in Yolanda's life right now. I rebuke that spirit of infirmity. I submit Yolanda to God Most High right now. I submit her body, her soul, and her spirit to the Lord. I stand on her behalf. I resist the devil in every way, shape, and form. In the name of Jesus, I command that asthma now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I speak to that asthma, be healed in Jesus' name. I command you now, Yolanda, breathe easy in the name of Jesus Christ. I command total healing over your body, over your chest, over your lungs. Be healed in Jesus' name. Are you looking out for the for mm. Debbie for Debbie, right? No, no. You you prayed for her, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. just just pray for others who need we need pray. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. Continue to send your 
um, by the show of hands, if you um, you can ask for prayer, if you uh, if you need if you need uh, prayer for healing, just um, just send your just 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 ask. Just send a yes. comment. We're still still praying for you. Still praying for you. Right now, Heavenly Father, I thank you for your daughter, Fundi Lisa. I thank you for her father and her niece. Right now, Father, I commit them into your hands. You know their struggles. You know their challenges. Right now, I speak over their lives under the authority of the Holy Spirit. I release the healing power of God right now. Wherever they are, I command them to be healed of every sickness, every ailment, every disease every pain i subdue it i command it now to be healed in the name of jesus i send that word of psalm 107 verse 20 i send that word of healing i send that word of restoration in the name of jesus christ i cover them with the blood of jesus and father we are expecting to hear of a testimony of your greatness in jesus name Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your daughter, Claudia. I thank you for her family. I thank you for her mother, Lydia. Right now, Heavenly Father, I commit Linda into your hands. I speak over Linda's life in Jesus' name. I command that spirit of infirmity to release her and flee from her in the name of Jesus. Right now, I stand in the gap. I forcefully oppose any power of darkness that is contained with the health. I release the healing power of God over Linda right now. I command her mouth to be healed in the name of Jesus. I subdue that pain in her mouth right now. I command that mouth to be healed and be restored to its original condition and perfection God Almighty has created it to be in the name of Jesus. I cover Linda now with the blood of Jesus. I declare total healing and restoration over her over her body in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we are expecting to hear of a testimony of the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. You can we we, we still, still here if you if you still request prayer for prayer of uh, healing healing um just uh, just send just send send we here um we here thank you Father thank you Jesus let Prophet Neem pray for you if you need healing <clears throat> this is this is an opportunity for you, you can get prayer. Amen. Amen. We are done. There's no comment that we missed. There's no comment that we missed. There is no comment that we missed. Okay, if we don't have a comment that we were we missed, we're gonna be finishing. Um, I wanna I wanna encourage you again to um, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube uh, YouTube my YouTube community, become subscribe, and become part of our YouTube community. And like I said in the past, that a lot of activities that they're going to be taking place on YouTube, because that's where we are actually migrating. We are actually migrating to um, to YouTube, so. If you have not you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, 
I want you I want you to share the link again. Okay. So I want you to make sure that you subscribe. From tomorrow, I'll be posting a piece of content almost every day on YouTube. Like from tomorrow, this is Monday. I told you yesterday that we are going to be starting a program I call on YouTube channel. I call our breakfast with the blacksmith. So every morning I'm going to be dropping something for you to start your day. Something that you can meditate on, muse on, you know, and to do throughout the day. So I'm going to be dropping it um, in the morning. So you want to make sure that you are part of our YouTube community, um, Blacksmith TV. My son is going to be sharing um, the link with you right now. So I want you to um, follow that link. There is the link. I want you to follow that link. I want you to follow that link and and just and just sign in, uh, 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 subscribe, and make sure that you click or uh, you you click uh, the no uh, 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 you turn on the notification bell so that uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so that you are notified every time when I, I, I uh, I'm going to be posting something. And then the other thing is that the school of seers and prophets is starting on the uh, 24th of this month the school of seers and prophets is starting on the 24th of this month so you want to be become part of the school we're going to be talking about a uh, seer prophets and we're going to be talking about nabi prophets so um, i'm going to be going very deep into these dimensions into these two prophetic streams in the prophetic helping you to understand them so that if you're called as a seer <clears throat> you are called as a nabi you can become efficient and effective as you are operating in these dimensions so that you can uh, really fully understand those things. So I want you to make sure you go there on, on, on YouTube. We are migrating to YouTube. We are migrating to YouTube. So I want us to, I want us to, right now we are on maybe um, 251 subscribers. So our, our, our next milestone is, it's, it's 300. It just pray, um, we, it's 300 so i want you to make sure that you subscribe the moment we re, we we hit our thousand subscribers in our live sessions we're gonna do a lot of them on youtube the moment we hit a thousand subscribers we're gonna do a lot of our meeting on youtube so don't make the mistake of not becoming part of our youtube community because you are missing out a lot by not becoming part of those sessions and then in the evening the last thing in the evening i'm going to be coming back at um eight o'clock and then we're going to be doing part three love relationships and marriage prophetic uh, matchmaking <laughs> so hot so hot so hot so hot i look forward <laughs> i look forward i look forward to it we are going to be doing um that part three of that session um love relationships and marriage prophetic uh, uh, matchmaking. So I want you to make sure that you are, uh, you look out and uh, not at 8 o'clock, we are going to do it at 10 o'clock. Okay? Same time that we did um, the past two nights. It's going to be at 10 o'clock. So, so I want you to make sure, because I I'm still need to go now, you see, I'm with Prophet Neil, so I'm still going to have to travel and go back home. So, um, uh, 10 o'clock is going to be uh it's going to be the time that's going to be more convenient so we are going to be doing it 10 o'clock so 10 o'clock i'm going to be back um live and we're going to be doing it so thank you so much for tuning in um we're going to be seeing you um at 10 o'clock again uh, may the lord bless you hope you are blessed Amen. make sure you watch this session again i'm not going to delete it i'm going to i'm going to post it here on facebook so make sure you watch this session, watch the replay, watch it again and again and again until you get these things. And be on the lookout for part two of, of our signs that you are called into the prophetic and, and you're going to be blessed. Feeling said, no sound for a while on my side, only back now will um, replay. Yeah, you should watch the replay, uh, woman of God. Sorry about your sound. I'm gonna, also going to be back at um, 10 o'clock. So be seeing you soon so thank you so much um, um uh, guys we love you we appreciate you make sure subscribe subscribe and loving blacksmith tv thank you men of god thank you men of god everybody make sure you go on youtube and 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 please let's talk i'm not now a woman of god i'm um, helen um as you can see i'm not home so i'm not going to be able to chat much now so i'm going to let you know once I'm home, okay? Then I'm gonna talk to you. So God bless you guys, thank you. Cheers.